And there's the first whistle to get this underway. Ireland attacking the uh, Tala end, the square end, to call it that. Kicking from left to right. The Swedes, meanwhile, as expected, ahead against Finland 2 1. But here's McCabe into the danger zone. And Lucy Quinn just couldn't connect. Yeah, again, you see it's a really good ball down the side. The breaking ball actually falls well for Katie McCabe. And um, I think it's Lucy Quinn then is just really well shepherded, shepherded away from the ball by Wojciechowa, the right back. Off to Bartowiczkova. Savannah McCarthy's out there to check the run of Mikolajeva, who still has the possession. Mikolajeva's shot is capably dealt with by Courtney Brosnan. But they are showing glimpses that they are a team that we have to pay attention to and not give up soft opportunities to. They have got players who, as we've seen in the early stages, are, are quite happy to go and take players on. And Heather Payne, room on the wide right for Anya O'Gorman. O'Gorman with a cross. Quinn plucked out of the sky by Karentseva. Well, the best Ireland have managed. Yeah, and it's a good ball in from Anya O'Gorman and probably a difficult against Mikolajeva, who has come off the better this time. Opportunity perhaps for Skorvankova. And Skorvankova once more challenged by Louise Quinn. Skorvankova! And Brosnan makes a fine stop. Moment of danger in front of the Irish goal, but the goalkeeper equal to the challenge. It is, but it's another warning sign from Slovakia that you know they're they're happy to push on push numbers up into the cage corner to Louise Quinn at the back and Korenciova has to save yeah you see the big loop and ball in always Aim towards Louise Quinn at the back post. We've seen her do so much damage from that type of area from set pieces before. Fahi. O'Gorman. Oh, Sullivan's there to win it back. Connolly assisting. Still a little scrappy in the midfield, and there's some space here for an attack by Matavkova. One in the middle for her. And that's the one that counts. Martina Shunovska was all alone for Slovakia in the heart of the Irish penalty area. But she was the one who made contact with the ball and put it in the Irish net. And in the second minute of the second half, Slovakia take the lead. Yeah, and it's a case of Ireland getting caught high up the pitch. Savannah McCarthy doesn't get across and get any pressure on the ball. She has so much time to pick out her cross. And look, she gets the ball in, and Nifahi will be disappointed that she gets in behind her. But, you know, from an Irish perspective, they just got so stretched and caught, really, just in at sixes and sevens, really. And, um, you know, it's a really Steve disappointing. Sullivan on for McCabe. Oh, spun her marker well, Horvatova. Katie McKay, Heather Payne, opportunity by Solomon. Just wouldn't come down for it. Lucy Quinn back again. The shot, Connolly, great save. Megan Connolly with a magnificent strike. And the goalkeeper did really well to keep it out. Yeah, much, much better from Ireland. Just that slicker passing and movement all comes from Katie McCabe turning on a sixpence there just to change the position of the tack, playing it forward. And it's a great strike. We know that Megan Connolly has, the, has it to strike them from that type of range. Well, that's encouraging. A really good effort so, from Megan Shemberyova is on and Shurnovska is off. Here's an opportunity. Here's Katie McCabe. And she's in Katie McCabe has got the goal back. And it's all square in Tara. 
the captain, leading by example, the perfect finish, and the crowd delighted. Maybe Savaki unsettled by that substitution. The ball broke free. McCain didn't need to be asked twice. No chance to keep her. 1-1. One, one. Absolutely great ball. Little layoff from Heather Payne to Denise O'Sullivan. She knows exactly where Katie McCabe is going to be. And she's going to make absolutely no mistake. Only one real place she could put the ball in the net. And she found that exact. So Stefano McCarthy penalised. Jambaliova, all right, there's the free kick. Dangerous ball, well saved, Brosnan. Header from Birova, saved by Brosnan. Corner Slovakia. Yeah, you can see that's a really well floated ball in. She just gets completely away from Lucy Quinn. And Courtney Brosnan has made a good save there. Mirava. Oh, loose one for Brosnan. It's Emiliova and uh, to the rescue is Louise Quinn. Oh, that was an error and a half by Courtney Brosnan. And Louise Quinn has rescued Ireland. Yeah, she really has. And I mean, it's just, it's, it's an awful, awful loose first touch. It's not the type of place you want to be taking chances like that. Brilliant from Louise Quinn. Well, this would be the time to get a lead goal, wouldn't it? Just six minutes remain of the 90 towards Louise Quinn. Wouldn't come down for Denise O'Sullivan. Little John. Carusa and Little John. Carusa wants it back. It's Little John's cross. Across the face of the goal, Louise, Louise Quinn arrived, couldn't connect, it's Denise O'Sullivan. Denise O'Sullivan still, back it comes, Megan Connolly, big cross, in goes Fahey, keeper has it, keeper loses it, and it's cleared away by Wojtekova. Still the pressure is on, back once more by Connolly. Feels for the handball and it's given. Free kick to Ireland, handball by Zemberiova. Better spell of pressure again from Ireland. What a moment this was. Great Good ball in from Rusha. She's done really, really well. And just you just wanted to maybe come in at a little bit quicker pace. Now five minutes to go. Pace, but um, you know, I think they're they are gonna look to slow the game down at any opportunity. Well, Ireland got a free kick and it's in it was Louise Quinn. And she got the header on it, but the goalkeeper was there too. And the goalkeeper is down, and the referee has blown the whistle and said that's a foul by Louise Quinn on the goalkeeper. Yeah, it's a tantalising ball in right on top of the keeper. It's a difficult one for her, and Louise Quinn has absolutely every right to go for that ball. Eyes on it the whole time. It, as she goes for it, her back is to the goalkeeper. Yeah. How can that be a foul? I, for me, it's not a foul, but you know, this is what happens. And it. Often any challenge on the goalkeeper gets gets given as a free out and